At around 8.30 p.m. last evening, and the plane carrying the first batch of ballot papers from Dubai touches down at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. On site to receive them, being several IEBC officials led by Commission Vice Chairperson Consulata Nkatha. Nkatha using the occasion to assure the country all systems have been put in place ahead of the fresh poll. The role of IEBC is to deliver an election. And ours is to make sure that we are in every constituency and, all, and open up every polling station. That we are going to do because that's our role. Now, we expect that people are going to turn up and vote. Otherwise, for us, we cannot force people to come and vote. We expect them to come and vote. And we are calling upon all registered voters to come up in their numbers and vote. Exercise their democratic right in voting. <laughs> more ballot papers are expected in the country tomorrow evening. We are still expecting more to come. This is the first batch of the ballot papers. On Monday, we'll be receiving 102 uh, tons of uh, steel ballot papers. And then on Tuesday, we'll be receiving the last batch of 102 uh, tons of ballot papers. However, Nkatha, who is among commissioners, accused by her former colleague Rosalina Kombe of playing to the whims of a certain political class was quick to refute the claims. Um, really, I don't think I want to comment about Commissioner Akombe at the moment. I think people are entitled to their own uh, personal um, observation. I will not comment about that. I feel right now as a commission, we really don't want to, you know, to kind of focus on any negative. We are united as a commission and that we'll address these things after the election. We have got only four days to go. So let's concentrate on the election and then focus on those things later. The ballot papers contain the name of NASA presidential candidate Raila Odinga and was since declared he will not take part in the Thursday fresh poll. In terms of security, I think we are working with the security organs in the country. So we are assured of security because what we are saying is that our staff need to be protected. We've seen there are issues of security in some areas. And also we are saying that people need security to be able to turn up on the 26th and go to vote. So I'm sure that the security organs of this country, they are going to provide security and to secure our ballot papers, all our materials, to secure IEBC, IBC staff and also to secure the people who are coming to vote. The commission says the controversial Form 34As are expected to have higher grimage, which will make them more legible when scanned and less prone to any kind of manipulation. We have six security features like we had before, and uh, these ones, they are very distinct. In fact, what we hear is that, or what we've seen is that, it's almost like printing money, some of these ballot papers, and it's very, very difficult for anyone to copy these ballot papers. The Dubai-based al Ghurai printing firm has printed a total of 20.4 million ballot papers for the Thursday poll.